Hello everybody and welcome to my 33rd video. This is on um, a quaternary half adder. I'll be going through the circuits and the functions. Um, I should point out that um, the n-valued um, adder, half adder and full adder in the, in the general case is in my eighth video called a base n half adder and full adder. So um, we'll be going through as I say, the quarter and a half out here. This is the sum column with weighting 1, 4 to the 0 equals 1. This is the carry column with weighting 4, 4 to the 1 is 4. So for example, 3 plus 3 is 6, which equals 4 times 1 plus 2 times 1, which equals 6. Yep. So that's the half out of quarter and a half out of. Here we have the sum function. Uh, this is the coding that I'm using for F0123, F1 equals 0101 and F2 equals 0011. So here is A, B and the sum function. This is A2 and A1 for A here, B2 and B1 for B here, and sum 2 and sum 1 for sum here. So <clears throat> That's the uh, truth table for the sum function. Right. Here we have the canon map for sum 1. This loop here is A1 and not B1. And this loop here is not A1 and B1. So sum 1 equals A1 and not B1 or not A1 and B1 which is the definition of the exclusive OR gate. So we have A1 exclusive OR B1, and if you complement both the inputs of an exclusive OR gate, it performs the same function. So sum one equals not A1 exclusive OR not B1. Here we have the camera map for sum two. This loop here is A2 and not B2. This loop here is not A2 and B2, and this loop here is A1 and B1. Now I'm combining these expressions here, here with the OR function, and I'm combining the middle loop here, A1 and B1, with the exclusive OR function here. Um, and the rule is, for an exclusive OR function, if it's looped an odd number of times, it's a 1, and if it's looped an even number of times, it's a 0, and the coordinates are 0 zero loops being even. So here we have two loops, so that's a zero, two loops there, so that's a zero there, and the rest are one looped. So we have A2 and not B2, or not A2 and B2, exclusive or A1 and B1. And this is a definition of the exclusive or get, so that equals A2 exclusive or B2, exclusive or A1 and B1. Again, if you complement both the inputs, it performs the same function. So that becomes not A2 exclusive or not B2. And I'm using De Morgan's theorem here to change his hand into a NOR. So that is not A1, no, not B1. So that's the function, that's the expression for some two. Here we have the sum gate circuit diagram. Here I'm using um, binary quaternary to binary co uh, conversion here and here, just straight coding. And then I'm using you know, um, processing it in binary here and converting it back to bi uh, turn quaternary here. So this is the output of the sum function. So these are the exclusive all gates sum for a ACX6. An exclusive no uh, no gets seven for S E T O two an exclusive exclusive all gets here. Right. Uh, so the output impedance is about um, the parallel combination of these resistors, which is about 130 ohms. Right. Here we have the uh, carry function. This is the coding I'm using for the truth table for the carry function. 
0123, F1011, F20011, F30001. Um, so here we have A, B and the carry. Uh, this is A1, A2 and A3 for A, B1, B2 and B3 for B and uh, I'm only using carry 1 here because if you, the output is only zeros and ones in the carry function and for zeros and ones here F2 and F3 are equal to zero so I don't need to list them I just need to list carry 1 so I see a uh, true table for carry 1 which is the same more or less as the input except these ones are quaternary and these ones are binary right. right this is the Kano map for F1 carry, carry 1 this is a 6 variable Kano map A1, A2, A3 there for A B1, B2, 3 there for, for B <coughs> And this loop here is A3 and B1 connected. This loop here is A1 and B3. And this middle loop here is A2 and B2. So carry 1 equals A2 and B2 or A3 and B1 or A1 and B3. And I'm using De Morgan's theorem to take this, um, this AND function and make it into a NOR. So that's not A1, no, not B2. Sorry, not A2, not, not, or no, not B2. Or not A3, no, B, not B1. Or not A1, no, not B3. The reason I'm doing this is I can get away with using uh, one inverse per input instead of two, which I'd have to use there. And as I've said before, carry two and carry three equals zero. I have the carry function circuit diagram. This is converting the quaternary into binary here. This is A1, not A1, not A2, and not A3. Same thing here for B, not B1, not B2, not B3. And these are the NOR gates, um, 74 ACO2s. I'm using a diode R function here using B. T43 Schottky diodes uh, to convert to combine these outputs, and here we have a 390 ohm and a 200 ohm resistor um, dividing the voltage for the output to make it a logic one or a logic zero. Right, I think that concludes the video. Just like to say, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.